Right. Just to prove to you that when you use a left and right brain, we become, we learn faster and you become a more effective student. I want to give you a challenge. How many of you here speak more than three languages? Now please, all Chinese dialects are considered one. Don't say, I speak Hokkien, I speak Hokkien, I speak Cantonese, I speak Hong Kong, I speak Hong Kong, I speak Hong my smattering of language. I speak Cantonese by the way. Uh, I speak four languages. Huh? In fact, I've given a 20 minute speech totally in Cantonese. So, Mole, you know what is the topic? You never guess. The importance of learning English. <laughs> I'm not joking, ladies and gentlemen. It's true. It was in Ipo, in a, I'm from Ipo, uh, so a place called Mangnambu. You know, different film, Marimonga, was there. Chinese Marimonga. I was in Mangnambu, SMK Mangnambu, and the counselor said, Jaya, I want to give a talk to my boys because these boys, one one kids, huh, <coughs> have no confidence in their ability to learn English. They go to Ingman. Oh, God, I know. Say, yo, That means I cannot learn Cantonese uh, in English. And, I, and he said, Look, Jaya, you come and prove to them that the Indian guy of your color <laughs> can speak Chinese. And what the heck is wrong with you guys in learning English? That's the message he wanted me to tell them, I'm not tell them, but to show them. So how to prove to them? So I said, hey, go on there, let's start talking in Cantonese, girl. Go on there. Hey, what do you say? Go on there. Why are you talking about it? Huh? 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 And I started talking and they were like, what's my name? And then, at the end, when I clapped, I said, no, I'm here. Since I'm here, I said, okay. And I told them, look, I can speak your language. <coughs> and, and I said, I didn't go to Chinese school. I didn't go to Chinese school. I went to English medium school. The only reason I picked up is because my friends were all Chinese. Because I grew up in a Chinese village area. So we fight in Chinese, we play in Chinese, we eat in Chinese. You know? so, so the point is this. Right, anyway, come back to this. How many of you can speak more than three languages? Hands up. So Roger, what is the other language? Three, more than three. One, uh, one, uh, one, uh, three. So today, I'm going to help you to learn another language. In 10 minutes, how many of you believe me that in 10 minutes, all of you will be counting from 1 to 100 in Japanese? How many of you believe? Okay, okay let's take a small bet, please, okay? If I can't, I'll give you 100 really. Those who don't believe. If you can, and you just pick one of each of you. Shall we then? Yeah, okay, we can I'm not really bad, huh? Just a verbal bet, huh? see who wins, okay? If I make you speak from count from one, normally, how long do you think it will take for you to learn to count from one to one hundred in Japanese? Probably how long? Maybe a few days, huh? Two days. Some people say one month, some say one week. Okay, fine. Well, I'm going to help you to do it in 10 minutes. Believe me or don't believe me. You know what they say, you know? Sometimes, uh, you know, have you watched this movie called, uh, this, this movie called Ripley's Believe It or Not? This is JR's Believe It or Not. Let's do it, huh? Okay, no, no, the reason I'm going to do this is to prove to you that the left brain and the right brain, when they work together, they're much more effective than just the left brain alone. Because if a Japanese teacher were to teach you this, they would probably teach you the left brain. Okay, so how? They would say, okay, number one is Yin Chi. All of you say Yin Chi, but Yin Chi. No need to do that. I'm just telling you this how long it will work. I said, your left brain will do that. That's what the left brain will do. But your right brain says, stupid, okay? child. Let me teach you the fun way, okay? It's not a fun way to learn languages. Hey, hello. The left hand is right You just watch We do it together, together, okay? You and I, because stronger man, the left is okay. Take it back. I want you to observe me, yeah? There's no stage, you know? There's a stage. It's better for you to see. Imagine, I want you to imagine, because the right hand likes what? Like the right brain likes imagination. Let's, let's use your imagination. And he says, Oh, you mean your knee is 
是没一次啊，一次呢。The library say yeah, very funny. Why is it me? You know something? Every time I go into the sun, my knee gets very itchy because I'm allergic to the sun. The library say you're crazy, man. What's your name? What's your name? How is that? How you this year? So. Uh, he, uh, he said, uh, uh, my dad asked, how do you know that me, the, the knee gets itchy because of the sun? I said, the doctor, me, she's a doctor. She told me, she, she told me, you go to the sun, you get itchy. I said, yeah, right. And then the doctor also told me, that. so yeah, I shouldn't tell you this, but, uh, you know, I know these people who smoke, seldom scratch their knee. So why don't you just take one cigarette, don't smoke, don't become a smoker, just pick up a cigarette, uh, you know, as for medicinal purpose, okay, like you die, okay, so once, once you go, okay. So, so I go and I take a roko. Take a what? A roko. And I smoke the roko. But I'm not a smoker, so I tend to get, my throat gets irritated, so I give a double sneeze. Shishi! Not shishi, okay, shishi, you go to the toilet. <laughs> but when I give a shishi, I was wearing a hat, and the hat fell down, I picked it up, and I said, Hachi. But when I picked up the hat, she inside somehow a pigeon got stuck inside the hat, and I picked it up and said, Ah, what a beautiful little pigeon. I think I'm going to have pigeon soup for lunch. <laughs> but then when I'm holding the pigeon in my hand, it turned around and said, Cute. But you know, it's so cute and so nice, it's so hard to kill the bird. And I was saying this, if you watch this, let's say, a Jewish guy passing by, you know, from Israel, you know, they're always fighting with the Palestinians, right? So you say, hello, Mr. Jew. He said, yes. Can you take this bird, which is a sign of peace, a pigeon is a sign of peace, you call him that. And I said, you give it to your Palestinian brother and stop fighting. Uh, make peace, but not war. See, so let's go on time, huh? What did I do? Scratch my knee and say, what? H-E-E, because of the? Who told that? Can I? Can I take her? And I keep a double series? Not how she said. A double sneeze. Shi chi. And I pick up the hat, which is had she in the net, I don't think it was a pig. I said, what? And I gave it to her. Okay, let's all get up and try this all together. Come on, come on, come on. Let's do it, okay? Alright. Let's do it. Okay, all of you please scratch your knee. No, anybody got a knee here? Anybody got knee here and get the me, yeah? If not, please bend down, okay? Because sometimes you say, no, it's just a itchy me. Who needs you to bend down? Huh? I said, don't do that. Do it properly. Ready? Okay? Let's do it. Okay, one, two, three, go together. Itchy me. Sad. Let's point to a third point of me, okay? Take a side step. Go. Roko. Hachi. Zoo. Okay, together now. Huh? One, two, three, together. One, two, three. Take Ichi. Sanchi. Go. Roko. Okay, now I'm not going to say the words. You're going to say it, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go.